So at this point, we can see that we've created all of our um, API endpoints for our CRUD operation. So um, I'll change this back to put, so PUT, and then even my testing also, I'll just change it back to put. All right, so now that we've gotten all our API endpoints created, there's some modification we need to do in this our application here. Now, if you look at this application, um, this task route, you'll notice that all of these routes have something in common, right? One, two, three, four, five. The five of them have something in common. So let's look at it closely. You'll notice that all of them have this API forward slash task. So you see API task, API task, API task, and last one. So because they all have this in common, we can actually just push all of this text API forward slash task to our server. So let's come back to our server. Remember that we did this middleware, we applied this middleware API.use to point to our task route. Now, actually, what we can do is because um, of this API tags that they all have in common, we can come here and before this task, we'll specify the route that we want to apply to all of the tasks, all of the routes, sorry, in our task route. So I'm going to come here and I'll just add forward slash API forward slash tasks. Okay. And what this will do is that it will just append this piece of text to all of the routes from this our task route.js file. So what this means definitely is that you do now need to have this API task in all of them. So let me just delete everything at once. Like so and like so. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and delete it. All right. So in this first one, we're just going to say forward slash. Then the other ones, of course, this one too is going to be a forward slash. Then the rest will just be um, forward slash colon ID, right? Because from our server, we've already added this API forward slash tasks to all of the routes inside of this task route.js file. I hope you understand what's actually going on here. Now let's go ahead and save both files. So I'll save. And I'll come here as well and I'll save. All right. So, but we need to just make sure that nothing has broken in our application. So I'll come here and just test maybe the get all task route. Send. And as you can see, everything still works. All right. So now that's just on the part of optimization. There's one more thing I want to do to optimize this um, project. So I'm going to come up here. And let me show you something. So you notice also that we have some things that are still common to all of these routes. For example, this post and get, they both have the same path. The um, one, two, and three, they also have the same path here. So you see forward slash colon ID. So we can actually stack them together. And let me show you how you're going to do that. So I'll come here and I'll say, router dot route okay then i would define the path which is forward slash so you see this forward slash now can ap apply to both these two routes the post and the get route all right now i will now append the methods or the function that i want to be executed on this path so the first one is to do a get method so you see this get here I'll just say dot get and for the get we are running this function to get tasks so I'll say get tasks all right then I also have this dot post on this route so I'll just come here and append the post method and what's the function we are running the create task so I'll say create task okay so you see now I've compress these two lines of code into just this single line now i personally i actually prefer this one okay this one here although it has more lines of code but i prefer it because it's neater it's easier to read but i just wanted to show you this one also then for these other guys here that have the similar path 
I'll just come down here and create another one. I'll say router. Sorry, I'll say router dot route. So I'll define the route first, and the path is going to be forward slash colon id. Then I'll now append all of this. So let's start with this one. So dot get. And where what function are we calling? So we're calling the get task singular. So I've got to come here and say get task. Then I would also append what's the next one? The uh dot delete and then I'll say delete task. So dot delete and it's going to call the function to delete task. Okay, the last one now is dot put, which will call the function to update tax. So I'll say dot put. Okay, let me make sure I did that correctly. Okay, so dot put, which is going to call the function to update task. Yeah, all right. So technically, what we've done is that we've compressed these five lines of code into just these two lines. But if you think about it, you notice that the two lines is longer. So it's almost the same thing. Personally, I prefer to use this, but I just want you to have the information. So to test it, I'll comment out all of this and then I'll just use this one. So I'll save it and then we're going to test it one more time. OK, so our server has started. I'll come here and OK, starting rather. Come on. All right, yeah. So now I'll come here. Let's fire the get all task. That works. Let's create a task. And I'll just do task. I don't know if I've created task seven, but let me just do. Okay, I don't think I have. I'll send this. Aha, so you see, it works. Let's get a single task. I, oh, okay, so I first need to copy the ID of a task that already exists. So let me grab that. Copy that. And then get a single task where I would just add my new ID, send. Okay, so we're able to get the task three. Let's delete a task, and I'm also going to delete task three as well. So control V, send. And 200, which is status of OK, and shortly we'll get task deleted. Then to update a task, OK, I'll also need to get the id of an existing task so let's just get task four i'll copy that and then i'll just come to update a task and let's just update task four and then it's not just going to be completed it's going to be completed and name so name name and then the name is going to be task four updated all right let's change this to true true and then send voila so task 4 updated completed status is set to true so all the routes work i mean it works just fine so but you see here we've actually just modified the way our um route uh, file actually is arranged so that's what i wanted us to achieve or that's the information i wanted you to have from this lecture so in the next one we are now going to start building the front end of our application because now we've built all our api endpoints thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one